I'm excited for your future. The best is yet to come. Hot topics, we're talking and vibing right here on Kingdom Connection. Oh, 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 oh. Enriching, embracing, informing right here on Kingdom Connection. With the Apostle Otis B. Young. Pull on that barbecue. Get that testimony. Lick them fingers and say, this is the best barbecue in town. Come on, the capacity comes in. People say, you know what? I'm driving all the way from, I don't know, here in Monticello. Baby, I'm trying to blow the horn. I'm trying to find it. I'm trying to find it. You feel me? He says that way right now. Come on, get ready for more increase. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I love it. I love it. He says that way. I don't forget to follow a real man for five hours. I just ain't defying him. You I don't care what he looked like. Wait, wait, come on. That was back before he got the big thing on the, on the corner. He was going to be back up in the cut. I said, you know what? Oh, there's so much cars over here. I don't know the potato salad, the, everything takes to get for $5. You hear me? I got a real man of chicken. Come on, come on for $5. Come on. Five, I can increase. Come on. God, increase our capacity. You feel me, chick? For increase. Increase. Got me? All right. So the law of the lid says you can't go further than the lid. The law of the lid says God go, he's not going to do more than the container in most cases. All right. Can I, can I do something for? Yes. I like what it says. Oh, read it loud. It says, do not be afraid. You will not be put to shame. Hallelujah. Do not feel disgrace. You will not be humiliated. Hallelujah. So God said, prepare for it, but you ain't going to be afraid. You ain't going to be humiliated. Come on. He got you. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I grab all of that. Thank the Lord. Because sometimes when he's shaking your places, I say, God, I don't even like to play like that. I don't like to sink. I, ain't try. I can't swim that good. Come on. But some of us, when he calls us a deep water, he ain't going to let you drown. He ain't going to let you sink. Just keep your eyes on him. Come on. Thank you, Lord. But don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. I know God is calling me to Africa, but I want them shots. But God, don't be afraid of that needle. Lord. Just take it. Take it like a shower, bro. Take it like a shower. Come on. Come on. Come on, don't be afraid of certifications, other territories, other areas, and things of that nature. As we were talking about kingdom life and other states. Or just don't be afraid of it. And I just want to just focus on the first verse. Sing. You know what I mean? We got to approach this battle not from a natural point of view, but from a spiritual perspective. Yes, sir. Because God often calls us in, in our first place of unfamiliarity is to approach God from a spiritual place. For example, when, we, when they went around Jericho, when they marched around Jericho, God will often call you to do things that cause you to come out of yourself so he can bring you into something that you couldn't accomplish, but for going a way that you haven't traveled before. A way you have never traveled before. I grabbed that. I grabbed all of that. Here to think. The second one was a law of influence. Give me, give me a law of influence. Law of influence. When you're dealing with a law of influence, it says that the true measure of leadership is influence. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay, our vision for Kingdom Life Purpose, okay, I know when I wrote it, but it's that positive leaders of the day and tomorrow because the classroom bully has influence. They may not be a class president, but they're bullying, they, they run their class because they got influence. Okay, what we were trying to talk about is that as leaders want to use our, leader, our ability for, for positive influence. But what I'm saying to you is that you have some people that have negative influence and we have to cut their influence. Because you may have a new person that's coming to the ministry, but because you got negative person over here or bad, they come in with that influence and they run people away or cause people to look at people differently through a third eye. You have to cut that influence and so they no longer have influence in that person's life. Oh, man. And so, and so, yes, sir, give me my, yes, sir, that's a good one. That's a good one. Give me my, I got it. Eli Times was an example of, the, of those who are basically contaminating the Lord's offering in the camp. Correct. And because Eli didn't check his sons, God checked Eli because of it. He did. He did. And you don't want God to have to check you like that. Come on. Because what happens is you have to check them every now and then. But that influence becomes negative and it can become cantankerous in the camp. Now, positive influence is good. We need that positive influence flowing in there. You feel me? And it says leadership has got to be earned. Wow. Oh, we ain't just giving you that, that leadership in 2020 or four like that. It means nothing but our influence. Can I tell you, the, the custodian got influence. The, the secretary got influence. Y'all didn't hear me. They may not be the person charged. Many of them would be like Joseph. Joseph was second in command, but he had to come on. He had the authority and influence like he was first. Pharaoh had given him. Come on. He had the ear of the leader. Come on. I, I, I think you want to ask something, Elder Williams. Yeah, I was, I'm glad he brought, he kind of brought something out there. Um, at this time, the kingdoms, 
was Solomon and David. Jesus had, the Messiah had been prophesied in that it would not only go far extend the kingdoms of Solomon and David, it would go worldwide, Correct. global. Remind me what you said about the apostles to go global. Correct. Correct. Listen, let's, I want to talk about two minutes of them. I'm going to go some scripture. Um, and your long, your father come to this, and I know I have that, 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 that McDonald's experience. I, I, see, I, still, I tell people McDonald's taught me a lot. Uh, there were, there were, there are leaders and then there's managers. Sometimes everybody doesn't have both skills. I think I have both skills. I just can't do both at the same time. I think I have both. I just can't do both. I mean, I can't lead and manage. So leadership says I've got the influence, but managing says, um, Prophet, Prophet Pat, if I put it in place, she's going to manage it and carry it out what was established. You feel me? So, Yolanda, if I get in the schedule, you work 74, you on cash register, you on such such, they're going to make sure you listen. Where, where are you supposed to be at? Right here. This is your schedule. They know how to manage vision. I'm concerned that sometimes we put people in leadership position. They don't have leadership ability, but they have the ability to manage. Let me tell you how that happens. Because every time they need to make a decision that they have the ability to, they got to call you because all they know how to do is manage. God wants to increase our capacity to leadership. And then there's nothing wrong with being a manager, but be the best manager, but don't stay at the place of managing. Okay? Leadership has more influence. That's why if you got a, a manager, when I just work at McDonald's, they'd be like, well, you ask them to stay. No, you're the manager, but they ain't going to stay for you because you ain't got that type of influence. They go home because you look out on their last nerves. You got me? So leadership is more about influence. Everybody say influence. You know the church mothers got influence. And because you have seasoned saints in the ministry, they got influence. Feel me? Uh, one of the other myths that John Maxwell talked about is that entrepreneurs aren't always leaders. Oh, let me put that out there. Entrepreneurs are, are always leaders. I had to agree with that because you can have a good idea and you know how to get the money. You know how, you have to know how, you know how to birth it out, but you may not. You may need to hire somebody to run your business. Will you just be the entrepreneur because you don't have that leadership skill. Does that make sense? The McDonald's world, because they birthed out McDonald's, but I remember in history, Ray Kroc is the one who was able to lead McDonald's on. You feel me? Um, sometimes we have the pioneer myth. The pioneer myth says, and I know y'all sitting real comfortably. One, two, and both Charles number three. Come real quick, 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 quick. Pioneer myth says this. You'll be the first one. Right here, Sharon. Good. You're the second one, Apostle. And you're the third one. The pioneer myth of leadership says, I done designated Sharon as the head, the first, and everybody supposed to follow Sharon. So y'all go this way. But you'll realize Apostle really can, she can put something in the atmosphere, and she really calling the shots. So who really the first one, the pioneer is, and that's why Sharon got to keep telling everybody, I'm the lead. I'm the one in charge. But the one who got the influence is, so it ain't always a person out in the front. Everybody, and you're trying to figure out why everybody keep, I, I left Sharon in charge. You may have left Sharon in charge, but the one who got influence is, and they're following her even though she's not out front. So just because you're leading a line, pioneering a line, don't mean that they're following you. Come on and give God a praise. You got it? Sean said, I'm following, I'm following, I'm following the apostle. I don't know, I don't know about sharing like that. I know Pastor Lefo in charge. Well, mm -mm. Got me? Because that's the person who has the influence. Ah. All right, the last one, I got I got ten, ten, ten good minutes. We're gonna we're gonna focus. Is the first one was the law of the what? Lid. The second one was the law of influence. Influence. I just called it to the Holy Ghost. Where are my read the intercessors, the pearl intercessors in the house? You are automatic leader because you got influence in the heavens because the fervent and sexual prayers of the righteous of, of it. Come on, you got influence there. When, when, when she praying, nothing happened. But if I go to her, because she come on, I got influence in that. And so that's why people will come to you. You may not be a preacher, but they say, can, I, can you pray for me? Because they know that you have influence in the realm of the spirit. One of one, uh, but the other day, if somebody had to go to court, one of my one of my students and parents and this and that, I know I ain't living like I need to do. I need you, I just need your presence in the courtroom. Y'all ain't hear me. Okay, I show up in the courtroom. Somebody said, "Who are you?" Oh, I, I listen to you on the radio. Da, 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 da. 
sometimes your influence can be just in your presence. You feel me? The influence that somebody listens to the radio and somebody, the judge say, it seems like everybody, a lot of people know you're in the courtroom. We're going to delay his sentencing and we're going to go look, look back at some further information. And are you a part of his village? I say, yeah, he go to Kenan Light Preparatory Camp. I'm a part of his village. Influence. Now, did I know anybody really in the courtroom? I didn't know the judge. But the lady over there that, that was typing said, you, you on the radio. Yes, I'm on the radio every Tuesday. I listen to you. You understand? So that influence that came from the person that was typing, she went and said something to the judge. I saw a play guy. European American judge, his whole countenance changed. He said, we were supposed to send him down for sentences and he was supposed to go on the program, go down the road, but all right, they passed it on. She said, you shit is to you on the radio. She had the I'm to listen, she wasn't the judge, but she got up right quick and she got the L. She, 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 doing the court. I ain't never seen her for it in my life now. Now if you feel me, but she had that type of influence that made him shit, look at this child differently. Now I told the boy, make sure you put on your uniform, make sure you clean, you hear me? Come in here, you feel me? And you say, yes, sir, no, sir, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, you hear me? And I told her, just listen, yeah, yeah, I'm a part of the village. She just got the kingdom life. He ain't been long enough, let me, that we keep working with. Influence. And so influence says, you know, it's not about the title, cause I, it, but it's about the influence that you have. And we need positive influence. We got enough messy, uh, negative, hateful influence in people. You don't even hate the Sinise like that, but because she done got into your ear about it, now you hate her too. Leave that foolishness alone, man. Correct. Yeah, you, yeah, because I tell people, you can be blessed because you just a part of the house. That's like the influence is on the house. You feel me? Come on, the, the, the influence shows up in places, come on, where, where, where other people get a no, you get a yes because you got influence. But you're an intercessor, so you got influence in the heavens. When you pray, come on, God answers. Come on, thank you, Lord. God answers. So I've got influence there with other people. I'm a, I'm a prayer leader. I'm a prayer warrior. Come on, thank you, Lord. Come on, I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. Come on. But that makes me a leader by function. Okay, let me say this. You may not be a minister, but people hear you on that line, they look at you as a leader, a spiritual leader. They look at you at it because they see leadership on you. All right, the last one says the law of process. Everybody shout process. This says as a leader, the leadership develops daily, not in a day. That's a process. It develops daily, not in a day. We're constantly growing and adapt. So what that says for like what I, what we did twelve what we did with life I've been on her for years. What we did twenty years ago, innovation in early childhood it is no longer effective. We had a little system called something, but now I didn't got smart care. They got all kind of different tech. Not, I've got to grow and I've got to adapt. Man, when I came through, DR, we were taught that children had to sit totally quiet. And you point to the board and with the ruler, A, A, baby, they ain't doing that. When you got to wrap it out, they, they, they on YouTube and they got to have someone got to have music. Some of them, if they didn't sit in their seat, we were taught that was wrong. But now I've come to understand that some children need a little bob like this. And as long as they get their work done, it's classical music, jazz music, whatever it is, instrumental. It is about the prototype. So I've had to adapt my methodology as an educator because that's no longer working anymore. I had to grow as an educator to realize I got to adapt how we, how we educate. You feel me? Because it's, it's, it's just different, but I got to grow in my mindset. I told them that Thursday chapter, Wednesday chapter, about to praise them at a dance. I know y'all ain't going to praise them the church your way. Let's put on an instrument and y'all pray, praise them at a dance your way. As long as it's going unto the glory of God. But I had to reach them from that, by that perspective. I had to grow in my mindset and adapt. You get stuck in one way of doing it and you lose your effectiveness as a leader. Go to Ephesians 4. Just like sanctification is a process. Can we agree on that? It's, I'm, constantly, I'm constantly working on this thing, working at it. Sometimes, Apostle, sometimes, Elder Williams, my del deliverance can even be a process in some areas. Ephesians 4, look at verse 15 and 16. One other thing I want to say real quick with leadership, it's a never-ending learning process. Always learning. Always forever learning. Instead, speaking of truth and love, we will grow to become in every respect the mature body of him who is the head, that is Christ. 
From him, the whole body, joined and held together by every supporting ligament, grows and builds itself up in love as each part does its work. What that says as a leader that I can't do everything. And I grow and I'm not on the ego trip that we all got to work together, but it also causes maturity. What I'm discovering, you got to have tough skin in leadership. You can't be either offended. People are going to talk about you. People are going to lie on you. Uh, but how can I mature through this situation and grow from it and not let it take me out? I'm growing through the process, but I'm maturing in it. And I'm maturing to realize that I know who to talk to or who not to talk to. Because everybody you believe to don't, is not the same place. But I'm growing and, and maturing as a leader. And so sometimes we have to be very, very, very careful that we don't put people in position or that you, when you're a leader that you carry yourself in a mature way because what happened is, what's your cousin's name again? Tracy, I don't pray for Tracy and Tracy see me maturely, but then when she see me outside of here, you messy and keep up more mess in the world. And so I've lost a level of respect because although I'm a strong prayer warrior, I'm not mature enough that when people give me something to keep my mouth closed. I'm not mature enough to take it to the Lord in prayer. Uh-oh, we done got quiet. I'm not mature enough to not look at wait, wait, wait. and I've had this happen. People need a safe place to talk about. You confess your sins. I'm, I'm mature enough to see that you may have had a sinful experience, but that don't mean that you're going to hell. I'm mature enough to still see greatness on your life because the Bible says that those that are spiritual have the ability to restore those that have come into a fall. Come on. huh? Everybody didn't see your fall, but this person right now, 2024, they just open, Pastor. Come on. This what I did. This how I did. This what I did it with. I've had to change my mindset and not look at them crazy and say, you know what? I still see greatness in you and still see the call of God on their lives and restore them with this. But I've got to be mature enough not to look at them any differently or hold them to their moment. Anybody ever had a moment? Come on. You. Right. You had a moment thinking, uh, you had a real moment. I'm talking about a real moment. A real, 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 real moment. Thank God the cameras weren't around. Thank God nobody records you. Thank nobody. If they put it on Snapchat, it's gone now. Come on. Thank God for Snapchat. But sometimes, come on. You had a moment, but I'm not going to let that moment stop my momentum in a sense. And I'm going to still, as a leader, be able to pull the greatness out of them, even though they had a moment. I got to be mature. Spiritually mature. Mentally mature. Emotionally mature. Because sometimes this ministry attracts people that deal with mental, will, mental, mental, mental issues sometimes. Well, this is, well, sometimes that mind may not be that ain't who you were dealing with last week. But I got to be mature enough that says we wrestle not against. Oh. Uh, come on, fear is wickedness. So I ain't at the point, but I ain't doing her this week. You know, I'm, I'm doing her every week, but I understand right now she going through something that is a spirit in operation. I'm going to still love her and I'm going to give her 50 feet in the natural because I ain't trying to swing on her, but I'll pray for her. Keep moving. Yeah, yeah, we gonna, yeah. yeah, 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 we will do that. We're going to give her 50 feet. Just, bless you. Stay over there. Get to, I already know. I can already feel that negative energy, but I'm not going to count you out. I just realized we wrestle not. Amen. So I still got to, I still got to love Carolyn. Y'all, y'all ain't hear me. Even though she, even though she just tried my gangster, but I still am mature enough. Let's say God, let God handle it. I must, I'm going to let you handle that one, God. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, okay, give me the mic right quick. That's what, that's what true it. Yes, sir. And I just want to say that to truth, we speak the truth in love. See, the devil, he speaks truth, but it's an accusation. It's never a love attached to it. Correct. There is a difference. Yes. And then I want also just to highlight that there is a there's an individual growth and there's a collective growth. So we both have to we have to work on our own individual growth and collectively it takes all of us to unify. Correct. And what God is saying to me, he keeps reminding me, he said, oldest, oh, I'm not, the, the growth is there. I'm just waiting on kingdom life. I'm just waiting on y'all to grow, waiting everybody to grow up and get where they need to be. Individually, collectively. That's what the consecration was designed to do. I'm ready, I'm ready for y'all to, to, to get there. You feel me? But it's, it's, it's working both ways, individually, and when the individual gets strengthened, then it should strengthen the collect corporates. That's for everybody. That's for everybody. Now. That's for everybody. That ain't, that ain't, that ain't singling, that's, that's, not, that's not singling nobody out. We all got to mature and it's forever, forever growing, forever growing, forever growing, forever growing and it's always a learning process. It's a process of being a leader growing at. Also too, Pastor, I was reading it, it says but speaking the truth in love something I want to piggyback with him may grow in all things into here. 
may grow up in all things to him who is the head, Christ. In other words, evangelism is most effective when it's proclaiming love. Correct. Because as believers, we have to be yielded to the Lord's will by obedience. Correct. So once you put all that together, you can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Correct. Correct. I think the hard part is that we got to be, we, we have to learn to be mature. And I've learned, I can't, I can't clap back. I can't respond to my feelings all the time. It's hard, but as you know, hearing God, teach me how to be quiet. Yeah. Teach me how, teach me to let you fight the battles. God, fight, fight. Teach me. I want you to think I'm weak, but God, teach me. Because some stuff is going to, it's going to kill my witness. It's going to kill it. And but that's the problem, y'all. Get girl this oldest, okay? You got old then, you feel? But yeah, for real, you don't ever want that because some people that are in the world, well, they'll hold that oldest moment to Jesus come. He will never be free from that. But you want to add something? You say, Elder? Yeah, I just want to say um, what you were saying about, uh, you know, a lot of times we said we waiting on God, but really God waiting on us. God waiting on us, not working. He waiting us, on us to grow up and get ourselves together. Correct. A lot of times we always say, okay, I'm just waiting on God. But he really, he waiting on us. I believe that he is waiting on us. He's saying, listen, I got everything. I don't get y'all the best. I gave you a building. I gave you the school. I gave you this. I'm just waiting on y'all to get a few more things together. Feel me? You saying, I want this husband. God said, I'm waiting on you to keep I'm waiting you to keep it in the road. Oh, y'all got quiet. Yo, y'all got quiet. I'm just waiting on you now. I wait, wait. I know times get hard. You know, and I know we just came out on coming. God said, I'm just waiting on us. Go to First Timothy four and fifteen. I oh, can get smoke. You smell us. Oh, okay. I I just wanted to say too when you when you talk about being quiet, that's what you call that. Um, that's a humbling moment. Uh, what kind of moment? Say it was humbling moment. It is. That's where God is actually humbling you. And a lot of times when we see what others are doing, what God is trying to teach us. The, as as leaders, as followers, that we are the bigger person. Amen. And that it's not that serious. Correct. So that's what you call a humbling moment. And when you say God teach me humility, but you know when you walk in humility, you walk in favor. Favor, favor finds you. Yeah. Humble is the way thereof. Go to the English Standard Version for this one. First Timothy four. 13 and 16 English Standard Version was blessing. I have one more scripture and that's the time we're going to stop there. First Timothy 4, 15 and 16, the ESV version. <laughs> the law process says leadership is an evolving process. It's a daily evolvement. We were learning daily how to be a leader. Come on, we're learning daily. It's a de developed daily. Not it, it's, 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 it's constantly developing. It's developing daily. Constantly. If he, 1 Timothy 4, look at verse 15 and 16 out of the ESV English Standard Version. It says what? Okay, practice these things. No, I said practice these things with a comma. Immerse yourself in them. What does it mean to immerse yourself? Come on, it's immerse yourself. Come on, be all in. Like, baptism. Yes, sir. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Be covered in this right here. Uh -huh. Amen. So that all may see your progress. What? Wait, 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 wait. They're they going to look at you and be like, you know what? Is that, is that chair? Is is is, is whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Is that Demetria? Come on, they gonna see your proc. Somebody know who you used to be. Somebody used to know. Come on, come on. They gonna say, is that Ash? Oh my God, that proc. Wow, she. Amen. Come on, you go to the classroom. You and they gonna so all. Oh, it didn't say. It says so that some. Oh, oh man, may see your progress. Uh huh. Keep a close watch on yourself. Keep, no, look. I want you looking at everybody else and what they doing wrong. Yeah, God deal me on that dude. Be a bit of fast. God. No, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, listen, I'm looking at Olanda, girl. She polite, all that. Everybody else. Ain't nobody in this church right now. But it's a hospital. Come on, come on. It's a university. It's a keep watch on your what? A close watch, Elder. Close watch on yourself and on the teaching. Oh, wow. On the word. What you get? Amen. What does it say? Persist in this. Man, what does it mean to be persist? Keep going. Stand fast. Don't get distracted. Don't get, come on, say, come on, don't let nobody put it. You say, persist in this right here. Persist, be persistent. Come on, you know how you be persistent about them getting your, getting your, getting your course right. Don't let your check be wrong. He say, persistent, like you bought your check right. Persist in this. Uh-huh. 
for by for by so doing, you will save both yourself and your hearers. Man, come on, elders, what does that mean? That help me because I say elders consecration, dog. Work on me. So God, if I if I work on me, it's saying it's gonna help who? Yes, it's gonna be effective for you and for the hearer. In other words, take heed to your own ministry, which is your own servitude. Yes, sir. Because at the end of the day, Paul said that we must work out our own salvation. It's we at one moment, but then it's individual lies on the next. Yes. Yes. And what this is saying, it called save me and the hearers. So that means my progress is going to help somebody else. Somebody's watching Owens and somebody's watching Sharon. Somebody's watching back. Come on. And they see your progress. Oh, man, thank you, Lord. It's going to help them. Somebody's going to say, you know what? A prophet back can keep her laid souls. I'm going to do the same thing. You feel me? Come on. So same thing. I'm going to wait. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. That's it right there. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Come on. Come on. I had you ready to make a laugh right there. Come on, prophet. Shout out to her. He cut that out of the by about six, seven years. Cut. She cut it up in the Holy Ghost. Come on, thank you. Know. It's, it, it's, it's saving you, and it's also, you know, because they know she used to have different people running in and out of the house. They don't see no, oh, y'all ain't got so quiet. Come on, we have students that come to school, they be like, Pastor, I got a new uncle today. All right, I, I know it. A new uncle, everybody, you feel me? That uncle be coming, uncle coming too. Oh. You feel me, but, but it's saving you and the others that are watching, but it's all, all going to see the change in you. They're going to see the change in you. Come on. You're going to be able to go out to eat. they be like, we know you used to be two for one. I'm good. But y'all ain't got quiet. Yeah, that's it right there. You get a little change. Go to First Princess 4 and 5. I'm going to close out there. We, we've done an hour in the word solid. I have more, but this is how I'm listening now. I'm hoping everybody gets the point of that everybody's a leader. And they're on what? Four and five. Yeah, first one's four and five. This, this right here helps me go from the King James or NIV. It don't matter with that one. I just know the other one, that English Standard Version is what helped me because I got to practice this. I mean, I got to practice working on me. If I work on me, it's going gonna, it's gonna to save me. It's going to save them other people too around me.